Someone says they feel like such a failure when they are around you. Two of Swords. Four of Wands reverse. Two of Pentacles reversed. This person's at some type of crossroads. This person could be making some sort of decision. I also see somebody clouding someone's judgment. Could be family members or relatives or close friends. Someone's been trying to cloud somebody's judgment. But it looks like this person, someone's pulling away, withdrawing themselves, their energy from whoever these people are. Two of Pentacles reversed. This person could feel like a failure financially. They could have a lot on their plate right now, going through a lot, juggling a lot, different priorities. The full. Someone's scared of some new beginning, some new life, some new start. Could be afraid to take a risk. Person could also be feeling guilty about something. Five of Pentacles. This person this has something to do with some um, something with finances. Could be about health. Yeah, someone's. Uh, they could be drinking a lot, smoking a lot. This person is very stressed. I, I keep seeing a lot of stressful energy out today. I think yesterday too. I've been seeing a lot of people very stressed. This has something to do with somebody's family members or domestic situation. Four of Wands reverse. Give me a card here, please. Someone says, I like you. I like it when you tease me. Do it some more. I thought I saw you out and about and I panicked. Somebody could have thought they seen you. Somebody's moving on from a situation. Four wands reversed. Someone's getting ready to be abandoned or left out in the cold or neglected. This is what that five of pentacles energy is. Someone's being left behind, unfortunately. Why do you keep coming after me if you were only going to let me go again? Other side, karmic keeps, my karmic keeps chasing me. I'm getting so sick and tired of it. Someone's being left behind, um, just simple, period. Could be a change in the living situation or uprooting a foundation. Show me somebody being left out in the cold or they're moving on, please. I feel like somebody's just afraid to let this person officially know that. Yeah, someone's about to move. Someone's about to, could be traveling away from a situation. Someone's just moving forward, forward movement. I, I keep getting, someone's getting ready to travel, move. Could be going on a trip. There's a sudden departure here. Could be a sudden arrival also. There's travel here for sure. Someone's happy about that. Okay. So yeah, someone's move, walking away. Someone's moving on. Someone's making a sacrifice. I'm telling you guys. I keep seeing somebody's literally getting ready to travel away or relocate. Eight of cups, nine of cups. Because they're, they, they're done with this fake happiness, this fake bullshit. They want the real thing. They want the real happiness. 
Someone's turning their back on a situation is what I see here. Turning their back there too. There's Cancerian energy. Show me, um, someone says they like it when you tease them. Ten of coins. Somebody could be trying to tease you. Someone could be trying to tease you. It could be some insecurities or something. Could be intimidated by you. Okay. Um, what is this? I thought I saw you out and about and I panicked. Here's a masculine energy. He could, he could have thought he saw you out, out in public, or you thought you saw him if you're a female watching. Someone's stressed and panicking over what? Could be about a domestic situation, living situation, a home, family, property. Someone is not, oh man. There go. They're giving me somebody's not responding to someone. They're not taking actions. They're not responding to them and stuff. Someone's mad, disappointed, heartbroken. There's a heartbreak right there. Somebody keeps trying to manipulate a situation, micromanage a situation. Is this about a home again? If it is, just sell the house and move or whatever's going on. Y'all are doing, someone's just doing the most. Or are you trying to save a dead relationship or what? Someone does not want something to end at all. And they're going to extremes. What is this somebody's karmic Please, keeps chasing them. Someone's getting sick and tired of that. Three of swords, heartbreak, pain. Could be a third um, love triangle, third party situation. Three of swords, ace of wands. Someone's just chasing somebody. How do you just sit around? Let me stop. Yeah, someone's just chasing somebody and stuff. They're moving on, selling away. Oh, that's sad. Mm-hmm. Someone's moving on this period. Someone doesn't want to accept that. They still don't want to accept that. We have a divine feminine that says, I deserve so much better. Okay, you could have left the situation behind or negative uh, situation behind divine feminine because you felt like you deserved better. You could have walked away from the negativity or maybe you're getting ready to. Yes, your foot could be an Aquarius. You look like you're focused on the future, your own healing. You could be focused on spirituality. You're very focused on yourself, your own healing. You could be on some sort of spiritual journey. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're focused on self, working on self, independence. This feels like me, myself, and I vibes. Six of swords, yeah, you sailed away from a situation. You waved goodbye to a situation. You could have waved goodbye, left a masculine behind or an emperor. Oh. 
Show me this emperor. He could be leaving behind a situation too. Maybe he feels like he deserves better. Y'all both are, yep. He looks like he's following you. That's what it looks like. He looks like he's doing the same or something similar what you're doing because the Empress and the Emperor are out. Wow. He could be in hermit mode too in healing. You guys look, look, you guys look like you guys are both. Could, we, could be reading books. Um, otherwise becoming more knowledgeable. You guys both look like you guys are on some sort of um, very focused and dedicate it to um, some sort of spiritual journey. Could be doing a lot of self-help, enlightening you guys as selves. Yeah, you guys are both focused on self, self-love, self-care, putting your guys as selves first, maybe for the first time in your life. You guys are learning yourself, your, your value. I'm tired of all the games. When are you going to let your guard down and be serious about us? They want me to um, share whoever this is. It's okay to release fears, release guilt, come out of your head, stop overthinking things. You can let your guard down. Because this union is here. It could be a homecoming or change of living situation, party. It could be an anniversary, birthday. You guys could just be going out together for Valentine's Day or this weekend. So... Good things are here. Happiness is here. Being supported, feeling supported, sense of community. There's victory, success. You guys have gotten victory, success over the competition. I mean, there's literally nothing, no negative energy here. This is, you've won. You've, you've gotten victory over any opposition. It's been a long, tough journey filled with trials and tribulations. This is success, accomplishments, triumphing, being rewarded, being celebrated. Divine Feminine is saying, it bothers me. That's confirmation for whoever needs that. Divine Feminine says, it bothers me that you stayed on the fence for so long and you did not really give the relationship a chance. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is closed up, you guys. Five of Wands reversed. Three of Wands reversed. Two of Cups reversed. Queen of uh, Wands reversed. Could be ending a relationship with um, some female. This could be a friend. Could be a romantic partnership. Whoever this is, there's a, there's a lot of tension between a relationship with a karmic feminine. Some very... Um, this female is drama, conflict, could be bossy, it's very controlling, jealous, very selfish. She could have tried to work against you guys in your relationship partnership.
these karmic females are very, um, mm, misery loves company. Is, um, this is period. Misery loves company. That's why they try so hard to confuse you guys, blindfold y'all guys. Yeah, party's over. The divine is in charge. God is in charge. Party's over. These are unhealthy friends. Could be unhealthy friends, family, overindulging socially. That shit is over. Someone says they already know that they have mommy issues or an issue with the mother figure. Six of Pentacles. This person could have shared that with you or you guys discussed that together. Two of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles reversed. This is something someone's been thinking a lot about, contemplating about. Meditating on, self-reflecting on. This person looks like they're working that out. Trying to find some sort of balance in regards to that. Your person's mother um, could be some codependency. Could be trauma bonding. Looks like there's been a lot of drama. I feel like whoever this is, is um, the mother could have interfered in the relationship. I feel like whoever this is, where they know that they have a mother issue, I feel like they're trying to find a way to uh, bring balance to the situation because there is happiness here with this 10 of cups here. Mother could be very controlling. This person is learning from the situation. I just want to feel you again, the real you. Those intense moments with you and you had your guard down and your mask was off. Chariot reverse, Cancer. Knight of Swords reversed. Tower reversed. Nine of Wands. This person's very guarded. Very, very guarded, as you can tell. This person's afraid to let their guard down and show their feelings. I feel like this person, um, they, this is like a control tactic. Could be a defense mechanism. Yeah, yep, it is. This person rejects love. Okay, maybe they've been hurt a lot before or been let down or have trust issues or something or they care too much about what other people think. This person looks like they've been rejecting love, refusing offers, or refusing love. They could hide their feelings a lot. Maybe they're just really shy when it comes to their feelings, expressing their feelings. This person looks very emotionally unavailable. They could um, fake their feelings, play little games, childish little games, act like they don't like you when they do and stuff. This is what it looks like. Knight of Swords reverse. Show me with this person, please. Who's very guarded. They could have lied to you about their feelings, acted like they didn't want you when they did. Spirit says this person is afraid of rejection. They're afraid of rejection themselves. So maybe they're afraid for you to reject them. They say they are recovering. They're dealing with the effects of trauma. So they could have dealt with a lot, okay? Their past or overcoming a traumatic situation or healing trauma from childhood maybe, okay? Or thinking about that. This person's afraid of love. They're afraid to be rejected. The person's definitely afraid to let other people in. Someone says, I've been hiding my phone from her because I know she's been trying to snoop. Okay, 
could have some female, so this could be a masculine energy, and he's hiding his phone, or vice versa, or a woman hiding a phone from a woman. Someone's hiding their phone from somebody. Spirit says, stop answering the phone calls or the texts. What is this? Could be rejecting somebody's phone calls or text, or... Yeah, if you're involved in an unhealthy situation, you may need to stop answering the phone calls or texts. Could be dealing, dealing with a Taurus. Self-love. Yeah, someone's trying to get a hold of you or something like that. Masculine. Somebody could be trying to get a hold of you. Okay, somebody um, could be trying to get a hold of a man. Page of Swords Reverse. Yeah, somebody wants to start drama for some reason. Yeah, they want to start drama. Wow. Some karmic female. There's lots of tension. Maybe this is your ex-girlfriend or ex-wife. This could be a sibling, relative, friend. Some female is tripping. These karmics are tripping. This person could give you a headache. It just seems very tiring, honestly. You could not trust this female or there's some sort of tensions. She made this karmic fan. These females that keep calling or texting. Someone says, I wish you were here right now. He says, I'm doing me. I'm unbothered by my karma. You are my first thought when I wake up. Okay, some female knows she's going to receive bad news from a masculine. So yeah, these karmics, y'all are just blowing up their phones and stuff. Oh, sad. Stay grounded and focus on our love. And try to your best to forget about the doubts. Okay. Someone's afraid of change. Maybe he already stopped, so you or him already stops answering the phone. Let me see this karmic femme. Somebody not answering her phone calls or texts. Yeah, she's just obsessed and addicted to somebody. She's obsessed and addicted to somebody, trying to control somebody. Could be some sort of control freak or something. Could be a Scorpio or a Capricorn. So. She could be an she could be obsessed with an Aquarius. These females are tripping. They're still in denial. Okay, what is this? Somebody says they've been hiding their phone from some female. Could be a, a man also. Because they know they've been trying to snoop. Yeah, someone's just trying to be nosy and stuff. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Someone's unhappy. These people are just... Ugh. Ugh. Someone's just trying to be nosy or snoop into somebody's phone.
One says, what do you see in me? Could be a masculine energy saying this or thinking this. have um, self-image issue or self-esteem issues. So man is in, there's a man, a, mas a masculine energy that's insecure. Could be insecure because of, um, Family? Yeah, it is. Some man is insecure because of family, okay, or relatives, because there's the insecurities there. That's sad. Yeah, this person just has some unresolved issues with some family members. Family members could talk down on him or they did something to make him insecure or what? Because someone's insecure because of their family. person could be hiding or very withdrawn. Someone looks like they're just like really hiding or something. The thoughts of you being with someone else is driving me crazy. Show me this energy. There's a man that's, that's sad. There's a man, a masculine energy that's feeling very insecure. Could be a woman too, but what I'm seeing so far is a, ma a masculine energy out. Could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini man. He's very caught up in his insecurities. Something to do with some family or something. It has something to do with um, a child or some new beginning, some new start. Could be his friends too. Somebody's making him feel very insecure. They could be making him think you have somebody else or something or you're with someone else. Maybe you are with somebody else. Yeah, somebody, that's sad. I feel like somebody's deliberately making him insecure, or they were in the past. Yeah, someone was deliberately making this um, masculine energy feel insecure on purpose. That's fucked up. Some family. Yeah, some family or some relatives manipulating him on purpose. That's fucked up. They could have told him you were with somebody else or made him believe that. That's what it looked like to me. That's what it's looking like. That's sad. Show me this family, please. Yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. They did magic on him. They did magic on him. They got hidden motivations. <clears throat> Excuse me, deceived this person. Wow, that's fucked up. Some friends are family, but they're giving me family. Deliberately making him insecure or make him think you're with somebody else or something. Okay, superficial to family or friends could be superficial.
It's fucked up. You can have children in the family. Um, somebody's kids feel rejected. There's a lack of love, nurturing, or attention. Excuse me, I thought the was closing up. They could not be speaking and all that. Maybe he feels rejected by his family. There's a lack of love or nurturing. Maybe he didn't get attention in childhood or something or affection. Maybe that's why he's insecure. He's feeling very smothered by somebody in his family. Wow. That's sad. A time of friendship, happiness, community, coming together with a joyous group of friends or feeling supported. He's waking up though, Spirit says. He says he did not believe in true love before he met you. You have helped him awaken to love. Wow, that's fucked up. Who is this smothering him? This could be somebody he lives with or some family. Some karmic partner. They're giving me a sister. So does he live with his sister or? Uh oh. What is this with somebody's sister? Some man's sister is making him feel smothered or insecure. That's fucked up. He could be, him and his sister could be twins or marrying each other. They're, they're, they could be both insecure. New job, new career. Maybe they're both getting a new job or a new career. Stop trying to hold me back from being happy. This is some man's sister. Deliberately trying to make him insecure is what they're giving me. That's fucked up. He says he's moving on with his life. Wow. Someone's heartbroken. Dealing with a soulless being. Wow. So this your sister's deliberately trying to make you insecure? That's sad. Someone's angry right now. You're way too clingy for me, top of the deck. Okay, let me go over this real quick. Oh my God, these sisters are a mess. These sisters are a mess. Is this a blood sister? Cause, uh, that's ridiculous. Okay, what is this? With somebody's sister is deliberately making some masculine energy feel insecure on purpose? Yeah, she's deliberately making some man feel insecure. She's micromanaging, controlling him. Could be narcissistic or controlling or bossy. They're, they're giving me she's been micromanaging him. This is the sister? Wow. Micromanaging him for what? Taurus, Aries, Hierophant Reverse. She's trying to make sure he doesn't commit to someone. Wow, that's just sad. She's trying to destroy self-esteem on purpose. That's fucked up. She's insecure. She's insecure. She could be jealous of something. They're giving me, they're both getting some new jobs. Or new careers. Do they work together in business or what? sad so, so your sister's micromanaging you deliberately trying to make you insecure okay and it's weighing you down that's fucked up she's competing she could be in competition with you maybe this is a sibling rivalry drama what is she trying to well, that's 
What is that? What is this? Mm. Show me the sister smothering somebody or somebody feels smothered by their sister. It's a man. That's sad. The sister's trying to control him and stuff. That's sad. Two of Pentacles reversed. She's trying to control something. He's got good things in his life. He has something to do with some kids. Knight of Wands reversed. What is she mad about or frustrated with at the moment? She don't want him to give equally to somebody. What the fuck? The sister is, ugh. Ew. That is so sad. Knight of Wands reverse. Sister smothering somebody. Calling me every night. And then she calls you every night, your sister? She's deceptive. I'm running because I can't face my own fucking mess. Why is the sister calling you every night or all the time? I'm acting cold and distant and defensive because I do not want you to see my emotions. That's probably why she's mad or She's moving back home with parents or family soon. And believe it or not. Top of the deck. Can we get back together, please? Something about Sunday. What? Wow. Mm. Let me see this. This is sad. Is this the sister or sounds like a girlfriend or ex-girlfriend? This is your sister? Show me, the sister is mad about what, moving back home with parents or family soon? So, she moving back home, it looks like it. With some family? She don't wanna move back home. You're not speaking to her masculine, so what are you, the brother or what? Is this the blood sister? You're not speaking to her. She's, got, she's deceptive, I hit a motive. She's moving back home with some family or parents or what, that's what I see. Yeah, something backfired. Why is she blowing up your, oh, this is why. She's blowing up your phone every night because she's moving back home. She's moving back home. She don't want to move. Is this the person who keeps fucking doing all this? Wow, this is ridiculous. What is calling you every night gonna do? What is she, what is calling you every night or every day gonna do? Who is this, whose kids feel rejected? Reality check. Someone's doing the most. Who's been rejecting some kids? I feel like someone's been rejecting some kids. Trying to confuse somebody. Oh. Oh. What is this? Some karmic won't stop blowing up somebody's phone today. Is this the sister? Yeah, there's a communication. Someone's sister they're giving me is blowing up their phone. Why is she doing all this? Because she has to move back home? With parents or loved ones? What? Wow. Angry. What? Someone's hella mad. This could be the sister again, or what is this? Somebody, judgment reversed. Somebody don't want to accept some sort of truth or something. They don't want to accept something. So let me see, this came out for the sister. Are you marrying, marrying each other, new job, new career. 
y'all, you and your sister you could be getting new jobs or new careers. Maybe y'all need to, because it's there's giving me a lack of resources. Money problems. Maybe you, you and your sister are job hunting. Unhappy, miserable, why? Um, I don't know, if someone's mad because of a job or something. I'm just gonna get through this because someone's sister is hella mad. Heartbroken. Somebody's family, that's sad. Two of Swords. That's fucked up. Somebody's family's deliberately fucking with them. On a man to make him insecure about something. They're trying to control him and stuff. Wow. Oh. Whoever's sister, what is your sister calling you every day or every night supposed to do? You don't want to move back home with family or friends or loved ones is what came out. Divine Femme, this could be your sister. She's got to make some sort of compromise. She's got to make a compromise about something. Yeah, spirits, she's got to make a compromise. She's upset being a spoiled brat. She's pissed off. I don't know. Someone's got a very spoiled bratty sister. Anywho, I'm going to stop here, and um, I will see you guys. I'm going to enjoy my birthday weekend, so I'm not going to be on here till Monday, okay? Most likely. So I will see you guys on Monday. I think isn't Monday Valentine's Day. So you guys enjoy your weekend. Namaste. And um, I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Enjoy the weekend. Enjoy the holiday.